Coming to you from Annapolis, Maryland, home of the U.S. Naval Academy, the sailing capital of the world, home of the world's largest crab feast, and four signers of the Declaration of Independence. This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, a daily roundup of local news that you can use, including local sports, local events, local opinion, and local weather from DMV Weather. Now here's your host, publisher of Eye on Annapolis, John Frenet. Good morning, this is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. It is Wednesday, January 3rd, and it is cold outside. More on that in a little bit. Hey, and a real quick reminder, we just got noticed that we are now approved on iHeartRadio, which means that we are everywhere you can get podcasts. Spotify, iHeartRadio, of course, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, even your Amazon Echo. Hey, Alexa. Play Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. Last night, three people were injured in a single car accident on Riva Road at Beards Point. Fire officials said they responded to a call at about 7.15 where there was one vehicle that was overturned. A 57-year-old man was transported to shock trauma in Baltimore by medevac. Two others went to local hospitals. The road remained closed for several hours last night. A college football player from Marshall University was identified as the victim who was shot in a New Year's Eve shooting in Severn. County police say that officers responded around 101 a.m. to the 7800 block of Bastille Road. They found a large party with excess of 100 people there. There was a man with a gunshot wound to his back. He was taken to shock trauma where he is expected to survive. That man is identified as Larry Aaron, who is a red-shirted freshman defensive tackle. He's a Columbia native who attended Oakland Mills High School and reports are unfortunately that he is paralyzed. Marshall head coach John Holiday sent out a tweet earlier. It said it is however with heavy heart that we bring this new year as I send my thoughts and prayers to Larry Aaron and his entire family during this difficult time. Kim Dacey of BAL had tweeted a picture of the football player as well as his parents and said that Larry Aaron's parents say that a fight broke out near him and someone started shooting. He shielded his girlfriend and got shot in the back. Many of the partygoers were from out of state and police said it is getting difficult to track down witnesses and they are asking anyone that has any information to please call them at 410-222-6155. Back in October, police responded to the 200 block of Meadow Road in Pasadena where they found a deceased 28-year-old Jared Weddle from an apparent heroin overdose. Detectives from the Fatal Overdose Unit responded and began an investigation, and they were able to identify his dealer, Jacob Caldwell. On December 4th, they submitted charges to Anne Arundel County Court Commissioner charging Caldwell with involuntary manslaughter, distribution of heroin, and possession of heroin. And on December 29th, Caldwell was located and placed under arrest. A word of caution to everybody who is selling heroin, they will come after you too. This year's holiday season efforts on behalf of the Maryland State Police had a positive effect on reducing crashes and keeping the public safe. Traffic enforcement efforts by Maryland State Troopers during the holiday period resulted in more than 10,000 traffic stops that led to 264 arrests and more than 180 arrests of impaired drivers. During the period, troopers responded to 1,074 crashes, including five fatal crashes. Last year, the troopers responded to 1,103 crashes, including 10 fatal crashes. The Maryland State Police continued to support the Maryland Department of Transportation's campaign toward zero deaths. These high visibility enforcement efforts reduce the number of aggressive driving, motor vehicle crashes in which speed, alcohol, and other driving violations are contributing factors to crashes on Maryland roads. Troopers are going to continue these initiatives throughout the year. Be safe on the roads. Hey, if you're thinking about heading to the Big Apple sometime, we've got some great news here. Megabus is offering a brand new service from Annapolis direct to New York City. The Megabus stop in Annapolis is located at the MTA Truman Park and Ride lot. You are not able to park there overnight. However, there are some area parking lots that you can. There will be two morning services per day to New York City and two evening services returning from New York City. Tickets are available for purchase now. And the service actually begins on January 10th. You can get more information at megabus.com, and tickets are $39 each way. Not a bad deal to get to New York City. (music) 
spring, you can take a trip to Margaritaville without cashing in your frequent flyer miles. Jimmy Buffett has announced that he and the Coral Reefer Band will be performing at the Royal Farms Arena on Friday, March 30th. Arena General Manager Frank Remish said in a statement, We are thrilled to welcome Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer Band to Baltimore. Jimmy has an amazing fan base, and this concert is an incredible opportunity for Baltimore. It's the first 2018 date on Buffett's I Don't Know Tour, which has dates to follow in Orlando, Miami, Denver, Minneapolis, and Paris. Tickets for this concert will go on sale at 10 a.m. on Friday. Well, it's not Margaritaville here for sure. Baby, it is cold outside. And George Young with DMV Weather is up next. And seriously, give DMV Weather a follow on Twitter or a like on Facebook. He really does have an inside scoop on the weird weather we get right here in Annapolis. It's very hard to predict. George is local. He's based in Cape St. Clair. Give him a listen. And he is coming up in just a minute. Hi, this is Anne Arundel County Executive Steve Hsu. It breaks my heart to see families destroyed by the trauma of addiction. That's why we're doing everything possible to fight heroin and prescription drug abuse. If you are a parent, talk to your kids about the dangers of prescription drugs. If you are struggling with addiction, now is the time to get help. Go to denialisdeadly.org or call 410-768-5522. This is Maryland. The weather can be nearly unpredictable. We've got George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis to sort it all out. Hey, everyone. This is George from DMV Weather with your Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, January 3rd. Bottom line, the cold continues and the snow approaches. For today, we forecasted a target high temp of 31 degrees for downtown Annapolis and BWI Airport as air moves in from a more southerly component with our approaching storm. But once the storm passes and the winds wrap around, we'll be back into the 20s on Thursday with wind chills near or below zero. And then we'll be looking at high temps, yes, high temps of only 10 to 20 degrees Friday and Saturday with wind chills below zero and low temps of zero to 10 degrees Fahrenheit above. And with a fresh snowpack, it wouldn't be a surprise to see a low temp or two get below zero by Sunday morning. As for the approaching snowstorm, it's getting its act together and starting its move northward at this very moment, and it should start impacting the Annapolis area between around 10 p.m. tonight and 2 a.m. Thursday morning, and lasting till about noon Thursday. And while our official snowfall forecast posted on Tuesday morning was for 2.8 inches in downtown Annapolis and 2.4 inches of snow at BWI Airport, there are late-growing signs that earlier storm formation just to the west or over Florida instead of to the east of Florida will lead to a storm path closer to the coast on the whole and therefore we could easily see three to six inches somewhere between DC and Annapolis or even Centerville, Maryland with five to ten inches or even much greater amounts east of Kent Island and Centerville toward Ocean City, Maryland and for every 25 to 50 mile jog westward of the actual center of the storm we can add several inches of snow to expected totals points westward, meaning from about Kent Island to D.C., things will go up greatly for every 25 to 50 mile westward jog. But with this storm, the reality is this. We won't really feel great about its path until probably 6 or 8 p.m. tonight, so start to prepare now for a potentially significant winter weather event and stay tuned throughout the day and into the nighttime hours as there is still potential for significant impacts to our region Thursday and Friday with the snow and also with the cold air combining with very low, dangerous wind chill temps. Okay, that's it for us today. Be sure to download our free weather app in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store on all of your devices by searching for DC MDVA Weather and follow us on our website at dmvweather.com or on Twitter or Facebook. This is George Young of DMV Weather with your Annapolis forecast. Whatever the weather outside, stay warm, have fun, and be safe. Did you know that more than 1,200 mental health patients had to be transferred last year by AAMC to facilities outside our area because these facilities do not exist right here in our own area? Denim and Diamonds is a fabulous, fun evening under the stars to support expanding mental health care in our community. AAMC Foundation proudly thanks RXNT for their generous $50,000 exclusive presenting sponsorship. Get more info at AAMC denimanddiamonds.org 
Thanks for listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. If you like what you heard, make sure to tell your friends and colleagues about it. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find much more. Be sure to check out our other weekly podcast, The Maryland Crabs. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at noon. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.